welcome back guys in today's division video we are going to be looking at the best possible roles for a high-end black market ak-47 now obviously the best roles are going to vary from person to person depending on what you want it for pve or pvp personally i think submachine guns just outdo assault rifles in pvp for the most part against human players but sometimes assault rifles can actually be better if someone's running away from you and you've got that accuracy over range so my current ak-47 only has an accuracy boost on it every other slot is going to waste now i'm not 100 percent sure what we're going for here for a pve role i definitely would go for actually on any role firstly the accurate 46 percent extra accuracy this is so good on the ak's it might not seem like it's a great perk to have but it really just makes it like a laser beam when you're firing so you can hit those shots directly on target the next thing that I would love to have on an AK-47 and I'm going to recommend as a best roll is Brutal. Brutal is increased headshot damage. If it's not, either way, we want the increased headshot damage. Now, with assault rifles, especially the slower firing ones like the AK-47, you're going to be more accurate. You're going to want to hit your targets in the head. That's true with all weapons, but it's just more easily done with an assault rifle and easily done indeed with an AK, which only has a fire rate of around 600. Even when you up the fire rate, it's not going to go that high, so you can get that extra damage in, but you want to be hitting the head now. This is really going to up the damage you're putting in on your targets, especially if you're using something that ups your crit chance. So 100% would recommend extra headshot damage on the AK-47s. Now for the third perk, it will really depend what you're going for. I do love the accuracy, I do love the headshot damage. Now, if you're wanting to use this more against human players, I personally would recommend something that will either increase your critical hit damage or your critical hit chance. Maybe not the full health. I believe you can get 13% extra critical hit chance on high ends when you're at full health. But on that bottom slot where you can get anything unlocked for free, if you can get just the default increased critical hit chance of eight percent at all times with the weapon that's going to work really well going up against rogues or if you're going rogue yourself because you're not going to need to be at full health to get that critical hit chance but personally the main two for me are the accuracy which is going to make the gun super accurate for you like a laser beam once again to get all those shots where you want on the target a bit of stopping power with the headshot damage and then for me if you wanted to roll something slightly different something designed for pve then I do think the armor destruction is a great one. Extra damage to named and elite enemies is cool and everything, but you're going to see some purple enemies around as well. If you want it specifically for challenge mode, then go for the extra damage to names. But in my opinion and my recommendation, it might not be the best for everyone. Definitely headshot damage, definitely accuracy. And then for the final one, you can go with whatever takes fancy. You can even go with swift for a faster reload. Now, I haven't had a brilliant roll yet, but as you can see here, we have just got accuracy and skill power is regenerated on kills. So that's a cool thing to have. That's better than what I currently have. So that's what I'm going to end up sticking with. But let me know in the comment section what you think are the best roles for this. This is just my opinion. This is what I've just found useful. And the headshot damage and accuracy are definitely two things that I highly, highly recommend to you guys. But if you have other recommendations, other things that have worked out brilliantly for you, leave them in the comments. It'll help other people out. It'll even help me out when I'm rolling through. Maybe I've missed some things. But that is going to bring us to the end of this video, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Hopefully, you have found it useful. If you have, feel free to leave a like rating. It's super appreciated and really does help the channel grow. To never miss a video, make sure to subscribe. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.